you're going to want to watch this episode if you want to know how to respond in a credible way when somebody is putting you down. Uh, this particular question came from somebody from my team. Odessa, thank you so much for sharing. I'm excited to be able to think about and address this particular question. So, so how do you respond credibly when somebody tries to put you down? Well, I guess it depends when and who, right? So if it's somebody who you don't want to be in your life, you don't care about being in your life, um, I guess, actually, let's step back for a second. One of the things you could always do is you could take the high road or the low road. You could take the road in which you, you respond in a way that's credible. You could take the, the road in which if somebody's trying to put you down and it if, if you don't want them in their life and it just feels like, like hate or malice towards you, you could take the low road and give it back. Or you could say something like, you know, whenever we're together or right now, what it feels like you're doing is you feels like you're criticizing that you're putting me down. And I don't really want that in my life. Why don't we agree that we shouldn't be together? Now, you can't do that with friends. <laughs> well, I guess you could. They won't be friends. You certainly can't do that with family, right? So with family members, there's some family members that have been around so long, no matter what you do, you're not going to change. There are other family members where you might actually say, you know, most of the time that we're together, it feels to me, although it, it feels like you're trying to do this out of out of goodwill, it feels to me like you're putting me down. Is that what you're trying to do? Is that really the intention? Because I don't always feel good when you're trying to give me this constructive criticism, this feedback. In which case, then you could take the conversation from there. Sometimes it's okay or better to ignore, and other times you could bring that along, and, and that'll be a memory, that'll be a thought process. It's, hey, listen, I like a lot of the things that you say towards me, but it does feel like every time I see you, your job feels like you need to criticize me, and I'm not feeling so comfortable. Is there a way we could, we could fix that or do that in a different way? Okay. Now, what happens if it's a business person? What, if it, what happens if it's someone that... You sort of need to or want to be in your life. And, and let's do a couple of different scenarios. So let's say, a uh, good example, I have I uh, I do a podcast with, with uh, one of my business partners. And, and what happens? We have this great podcast. We do a great job. And after the podcast, he wants to give constructive criticism. By the way, this doesn't happen in this case, just making this up, right? So he wants to give constructive criticism. Or you do a presentation, you're at work, you do a presentation and the boss comes by or somebody else comes by and they want to give constructive feedback. Um, or, you know, you have one of the salespeople come by and say, they want to give constructive feedback, you know, immediately. In that particular case, what you want to do is you want to say, you know, that meeting or that presentation was so good, I'm currently writing a high. I'm very excited and I know what you want to say is important and will add value for the next time we do it. But the moment I'm riding this high, can we schedule another time where you can give that constructive feedback? What will happen? Hopefully the person will say yes. What will happen is they'll think a little bit more about how to say it and how they're going to go about sharing with you and give you that opportunity to to reschedule and then and then you there'll be a different point in time where you can actually hear it right but what you're doing is you're controlling the moment that in your when you're in this super high loop you don't want to hear constructive feedback it may not be the right time you may not be receptive if you're not receptive you're not going to hear it properly now there are people in business that that are in my life that no matter how they say constructive feedback they they it just sounds like they're putting me down they it just it, it, no matter how they do it they just the words that are coming out of their mouth sound really bad or or there are times in which there are people or how about clients you ne don't necessarily want in your life who are just going to give you this negative 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 feedback so i'm going to tell you what i do because somewhere in the construct of this negative negativism, 
Ooh, I can't say that five times fast. Somewhere in that in that construction of that, there may be some really valuable points of view that I need to hear. So what I do is instead of putting on that that customer service hat, although that might be a good one, instead of putting on the the ego hat, I put on the engineering hat. So I don't switch my hat and put on another one. But the engineering hat is the hat in which you listen to everything in this subjective third party point of view and you're just listening you're just taking it in you're just saying uh-huh uh-huh great thanks i'll write that down let me think about that i'm going to write this stuff down and i'll think about this later thank you thank you thank you thank you and you just say thank you for the feedback thank you i appreciate it i'll think about it i'll get back to you assuming you mean that right and what happens is you're you're not taking it personally, right? If if somebody is giving you feedback and you're uncomfortable with it, what you got to realize is you're credible, you're coachable. If you're coachable, you're going to listen. If you're going to listen, if it's the right time to listen, then somewhere in there, there might be some things that are value. You have to figure out, are they credible? Are they have, do they have the intent and commitment to the, do the right thing? Are they really giving you feedback because they, they really want you to be better? Or are they giving you feedback because they want to put you down? If it's the former, if they're giving you feedback because they want you to be better, you want to listen. If they're giving you feedback because they want to put you down, then you need to figure out how best to extricate yourself from that from that situation because you don't need people in your life whose sole job is to put you down. You want people in your life who not just like you but love you. You want people in your life who who are, if they're giving you feedback, they're doing it because it's, it's at the right time and they want you to be better at who you are and what you do. Anyhow, I hope you found that useful. I found it really interesting to think through this topic. Rodessa, thanks so much again for putting this uh, question on the table. And I'm going to say you, you want to watch this episode. You know, if I'm summarizing, you, you, if someone's trying to put you down, what do you do? Well, if it's somebody who you want in your life, figure out a nice way to listen, but not necessarily immediately. And if it's somebody who you don't want in your life, you find a way to say goodbye. Hey, I hope you found this useful. It's now time to uh, spread some cred dust. Click on the like button. Share with your friends. Write down the aha moments that are relevant for you. And if you have a particular question you want to ask your credibility expert, uh, reach out directly. Create a video, quick video asking the question, and we'll include that at the beginning of, of yours. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye now.